Good boy. Goofle, say hi. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. Um, today we finally have some answers for Phil and what's going on with him. So um, the last update I think I did was when he was getting tested um, for Christian's disease. Uh, it came back negative. We did a one hour a ACT test. Um, ATC, something like that test for cushions. It's the most popular one and it came back negative, but our vet was really, really confident that he has cushions. So they asked us to do the exact same test again, but over an eight hour period. And what they do is they take your bloods in the morning on an empty stomach, they then inject you with something and then they take your bloods a period of time later, either one hour or eight hours. Um, and then it will work out what your level is and if your body has processed the chemical they've put in your body correctly, and if not, that's an indication of cushions or a confirmation of cushions. And um, the cushions test for the second one, the eight hour one, came back positive. Um, now the big bit for that means that one, Phil has been diagnosed now with cushions disease and he is starting medication. But the real um, shocker is we tested Phil the one hour test three years ago and we never went towards the, Phil, come here, don't leave me. Come here, come back, come back. I don't like being on the camera on my own. Come here, come on big guy, come sit down. So left this way, come, now sit. I'll give you a treat afterwards, I promise. You can get all, oh, I don't want your bum in it, come here. Two minutes and I'll be finished. Come here, up. There you go, good boy, there, there you go. See, okay, there we go. Um, so the big bit of information is we tested the one hour test, the one that came back negative last week. We did that in 2019 before we went to the specialist for alopecia and got diagnosed with alopecia. So that same test came back negative three years ago. And if we'd have done, if the vet then either the vet or the specialist had advised us to try the eight hour test, then he could have had Cushing's disease untreated all of this time and he does display a lot of the symptoms. And the other thing is, all of this hair loss that he's got and has had may not be alopecia. It could all be caused by Cushing's disease and within a year of treatment, his hair has a chance of all coming back. So one, it's the frustration of ourselves for not, not doing the research to know that there was other tests and to know that a negative test doesn't mean it's definitely negative. Two, frustration at the vets and the specialists that we paid an absolute fortune for that also didn't tell us that there's still a chance he could have cushions. And he, he has potentially had this, not necessarily, it could have been negative then and got it as he's got older. Generally, you get it, if you're gonna get it, it's as you age but he could have been having cushions for the last three years and it just gradually getting worse and going untreated this entire time. So that's the bit that me and Shayla found very, very difficult because I truly believe he's had cushions this entire time. We went there for that test because he was showing the symptoms of, he was showing either the symptoms of a thyroid condition, which we had tried treating him for because he had borderline levels for a year, that didn't work. So then we went in for cushions for a second time to say, well, it's not the thyroid, it's, could it be cushions? And it came back negative and that's what we thought at the time. We weren't as educated, we didn't have as good a vet. And, um, and it's crazy because we went to the highest level of vet. Like there's lots of, there's like three, to my understanding there's three different levels of vet. You get your basic vet, you get your veterinary hospital that have a, a like a borderline specialist and the surgeons there. And then you get the specialists that go to uni for extra periods of time. We went right up to the top, to the top in the country as well. And that failed. Anyway, history is history. We know now that he has got Cushing's disease. The, it's a difficult disease to treat um, because your levels can go up and down. So it's a constant monitoring of his blood um, and doing that test that I talked about, the one hour and the eight hour test to see how his body's coping with the piece, the stuff that they inject him with. I think it's a steroid. Um, so it's constantly doing that. At the moment, we're going to be doing it every 10 days or two weeks to begin with. And I think it all disband from that maybe to every three months um so there's that but it is treatable once it's on there it's just quite a, a harsh medication that he goes on which is called trilostane and he's on 30 milligrams at the moment to start with 
but it can cause some severe reactions. Now we've been on it for 24 hours and so far there's been no severe reactions. Um, so fingers crossed that continues, but we've got to keep an eye out for things like vomiting, diarrhea, anorexia, which I don't think Phil is at chance of um, having anorexia, but um, got to keep an eye on stuff and even like fits and stuff it can cause. So I don't know if this medication doesn't work for him, if there is an alternative, I really don't know. So we're hoping that we're not going to have any adverse reactions to this medication. Um, and you know what I was saying about the having to have frequent blood tests? I think he's going to have to go into the vets now every couple of months anyway for the heart test for his, he's got that heart murmur, the leak on his val on his heart, his mi mistral, mitral valve. Um, so I think hopefully we'll be able to start scheduling these things that, you know, once every couple of months we go to the vets, we do our bloods and our heart murmur test, make sure it's all working okay. And then we come out with a new prescription for the medication. Um, but this medication takes twice daily. It's a little capsule. I just put it in a bit of peanut butter for him. His appetite hasn't changed, nothing's changed, behaviour hasn't changed, his diarrhoea or his poops haven't changed, he's completely normal so far after 24 hours on it. Um, and some of the stuff that I've been researching on Christian's disease um, over the last, like, a, a 12, it takes 12 months for the hormones to rebalance and everything. Um, so some of the pictures of before and afters of hair loss in dogs, if you, you can Google it yourself, um, before and after treatment of Christian, some stuff, some hair has grown back now I don't want to get my hopes set too high that that back is that it's not alopecia and he you know cushions could be our cure not that it's a cure it's a, a lifelong disease but um I would just be absolutely happy if we just stopped the spread of well, the amount of hair he's lost now if it just stopped today and that was it let alone if anything grows back um who knows but uh, I'm, I'm a little bit hopeful um so I've taken the news as positive. We now have a treatment plan. Um, we, I feel like we're fine. I feel like we've finally got the right vet who is listening to us, who is not giving up the fight, who is treating Phil like he, he's her own dog, um, and who is really listening to absolutely like she wants us to sit down and tell him his lifelong history, and she'll just sit and listen, tell me everything, and she's taken it on board. And um, I don't know. I just feel like this is the first vet that has really heard us and has really like, advocated for us for all these tests and they've been really helpful to know the vets guided us through all of that process um but yeah so phil starts with it's medication is quite expensive as well so i think for this year will be good because um obviously the insurance is going to cover it but i think now that he's got a lifelong condition i'm not sure how it, the insurance will go after that because i don't know once a, one you've got an older dog so the insurance gets very expensive but two um uh, once you've got a lifelong condition, I assume it's really difficult to get insured at a reasonable rate. Either way, it's fine. We'll, f we'll obviously figure whatever the cost is out. But so far, he's doing really, really well. And uh, yeah, it's been, I think it's five weeks since we started with this vet and started all of the tests. Hi. <laughs> um, and I just, I, I, I don't want to be elated that my dog has a disease because it's not good, but it is a man. It's something manageable. I was go when I first went through these tests, my head was at cancer. And we've ruled that out. We've ruled out diabetes, which I, I think diabetes would probably be a better um, condition than Cushing's. But what we have found is it's not life threatening. He, it is manageable if he's on treatment. Um, it's just a bit heart rendering to think that he could have had this in the last three years and it gone unnoticed all this time. He could have been on medication all this time. And his fur could have been, he's lost a lot of fur in the last two years. So to think if we could have treated him then, how much hair, more hair he would have. But not dwelling on that we'll see how things go i'll probably do another update in a couple of weeks time once we've had the blood tests back from being so when we've been on this for 10 days we'll get another set of blood see how his liver enzyme counts come down because they think the liver enzyme is spiking because it's trying to break down steroids that his body is producing too much of so if this treats the amount of steroids and cortisol that his body's producing then his liver won't need to produce as many enzymes to cope with his body functions and that in turn should help his liver um that's the goal anyway and then obviously we'll see how he copes with this see if it makes him more comfortable the only thing is as well the vet didn't say this um but she said that the the stuff that i found on google is that um the arthritis medication not that he's on any at the moment but i was going to be putting it on some pain medication he's just on joint supplements and cbd oil at the moment um but the um arthritis medication that you can get you can't take at the same time as taking this so I think if this does work, which obviously we want it to work, it's going to limit our 
availability for arthritis medication. However, hopefully with CBD oil and joint supplements and more natural remedies, we can treat the arthritis and then we can treat the, the real, not the real, obviously arthritis is real, but the, the more substantial illness with the right medication. That's what my head's at anyway. Um, so I hope that you guys are, um, this is as informative as I can be. I would try and explain Christian's disease, but I'm not a vet and I would just be reading a Google article. So um, you can Google it um, or anything else if you do want more information for what Phil's got. Um, but basically it's either a, tu a benign 90% of the time tumour on your pituitary or your adrenal gland and that causes your body to produce too much hormone of a certain hormone that in turn then affects other organs like your liver function for the amount that they need to break down the hormone steroid or cortisol. Um, so I don't know exactly where that benign tumour on his body could be but I know it's treatable with medication and at his age there is no consideration of surgery to remove it because that that's too dangerous and it's treatable with medication. Nico is barking at somebody walking past and um, a dog that she doesn't like so I was just I got distracted sorry um so yeah that is our update and um if you have any questions please leave a comment below and we'll try to come back to as many as possible um and as i said the next video will be probably early april um once he's had his next set of bloods and the results are in and we can see how this medication is working for if we need to up the dose lower it um and we can go from there but to me i am being very very positive and happy it's not the, it's not it's not a great result but it's not an end of the world result it's, it's a manageable result that's my head and i'm, I'm sticking with that um and let me just show you phil because he left me and here he is say bye sorry go on baby paw say bye yay that's not a pain by the way that's him just being cute and being that stroke me mum i'm gonna put my hand in front of the camera bad blogger. okay you big baby